Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about a book that I was really truly looking forward to, Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmed Sadawi. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I, I was interested in this book um, not because I'm a huge Frankenstein fan, but just because of the synopsis. Uh, I'm, I really enjoyed Victor Laval's retelling of uh, the uh, comic book series, his Frankenstein. Um, this one sounded like it was going to be on par with that, a literary take on not really the Frankenstein mythos, um, because it has very, very little to do with Frankenstein. Um, I'm going to read you the back cover copy, and then we're going to go from there. From the rubble-strewn streets of U.S.-occupied Baghdad, Hadi, a scavenger and an oddball fixture at a local cafe, collects human body parts and stitches them together to create a corpse. His goal, he claims, is for the government to recognize the parts as people and to give them proper burial. But when the corpse goes missing, a wave of eerie murders sweeps the city. Hadi soon realizes he's created a monster, one that needs human flesh to survive, first from the guilty and then from anyone in its path. With white-knuckle horror and black humor, Frankenstein in Baghdad captures the surreal reality of contemporary Iraq. I'm going to go ahead and say it didn't deliver on any of that. It's, it was also a Man Booker International Prize finalist, and I have no idea why. Um, the translation here, it was originally um, written in Arab, uh, yeah, tr Arabic, sorry, translated from the Arabic by Jonathan Wright. Um, the writing was so plain and so boring, um, and the entire book is is a is a telling almost like it's very simplistic fairy tale style writing and that's fine if you like that kind of thing but I like a little more um, in the way and I know I've said in the past that I like a certain simplicity to prose um, but only if it carries the deep connotations or the 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 poignant the poignancy um, is what I like uh, something that seems surface level simple and is actually very, very deep. Uh, this book didn't do that for me. Um, <laughs> I think the biggest part that I was disappointed in was this first bit about how uh, he collects human body parts and stitches them together to create a corpse. The book opens up with him putting one, pe one final piece on the corpse and then the corpse disappears. It was very disappointing that we didn't actually get to follow him throughout the city um, scavenging and doing these things that the back cover copy promised. Um, and another thing was I did not feel any white knuckle horror uh, or any black humor. Uh, I could have completely missed it of course. Uh, humor is subjective but I didn't laugh at anything. In fact I was very very bored the entire time. Um, I'm someone who enjoys uh, literary fiction. I really enjoy literary f takes on genre material and that's what I was hoping this would be. Unfortunately it wasn't. Um, it's a very bland, not even a retelling of Frankenstein, a very bland kind of uh, magical realism uh, that didn't do anything for me. I'm not going to give it one star because the writing, uh, it, this isn't hot garbage. <laughs> this is you know, well above hot garbage. It just wasn't to my liking, so I'm going to say that it was okay, which is on Goodreads, that's two stars. Or two stars means it was okay. Uh, I don't recommend it, of course, but I always recommend that you read a book for yourself. And I would especially love to hear from anyone who has read this and liked it, or like me, didn't like it. But I would love to hear from someone who has read the original Arabic, uh, the native tongue that this was written in. Um, I would love to know if it's considered beautiful in its native tongue or if it was supposed to be, you know, as good as it was in the translated version because I don't think 
I really don't. I, I was very shocked that this book was up for a Man Booker International uh, Prize and it was a finalist because it is so plain Jane. Uh, there's not there's not much metaphor. Uh, the horror is very very dumbed down uh, to the point where if I had to compare it to something like watching, you know, if you, if you're looking for porn, you end up with Basic Instinct. You know, that's the kind of thing. That's how non-graphic it was. Uh, it did have some pretty, I don't know, it had some pretty severe violence, but it was all written so plainly that I didn't, you know, it didn't do anything to me. Um, it, it didn't shock me. It definitely didn't shock me. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very disappointed in this one. And if it wasn't for how bad Elevation was by Stephen King, this would probably be my biggest disappointment of the year. So, have you read Frankenstein in Baghdad? If you have, please let me know. Um, if you're planning to read it, let me know. Uh, leave all those comments down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!